ABC's General Hospital Sports reveals that Finn decided to face reality and tell Chase about Gregory's health when their father was very ill. From this, Chase understood the reason that Gregory had reportedly and repeatedly urged him to marry Brooke in the past. This news shocked Chase and made Chase begin to realize the importance of decisions in life and family relationships. Chase realizes that Gregory's push for him to marry Brooke isn't just about wanting to see his children happy. Gregory wanted to make sure that his son would have someone by his side to take care of him in the future. This understanding made Chase feel remorse for the times when he had felt uncomfortable of being forced and pushed by his father from understanding his father's reasons and feelings. Chase feels remorse for creating tensions in the relationship with Gregory. He realizes the importance of sharing with his family and plans to change his attitude and spend more time with his father during these precious times. Is Gregory's disease curable and will Chase think about marrying Brooke? Meanwhile, Chase decides to share with Brooke about his father's illness and he wished that she could agree to their wedding sooner. Fulfilling his father's wish, Brooke understands the importance of family and the love Chase has for his father. She agrees with Chase and is ready to have a quick wedding. Brooke isn't only concerned about his and Chase's well-being, but is especially concerned about his father's well-being. In this situation, Brooke is supportive and caring for Chase's family and tries to help him if he needs her. Chase wishes to see Gregory happy to see him and Brooke get married. He wants his father to be able to rest in peace. However, there were rumors that Gregory was so sick that he could die right at the wedding of Chase and at the wedding of Chase and Brooke. If this is true, then everyone will be very sad. But Gregory also fulfilled his wish, so perhaps he died peacefully. Is this rumor true? Will Gregory die at Chase and Brooke's wedding? And what will happen? Besides, Michael accidentally discovered information about Dex's family relationship when he was the son of Brenda, who was Sonny's ex-wife. This news causes Michael to begin to worry about the possibility that Dex could be Sonny's biological child. Doubts about the relationship made him decide to conduct a DNA test to find out the truth. Michael not only wants to know about Dex's true origins, but is also interested in his purpose in coming to Port Charles. There may be a hidden reason behind Dex's appearing in Sonny and the others' lives. Michael felt it necessary to investigate everything carefully and quietly, in case this wasn't the case. Before this investigation, Michael knew that it was necessary to keep it a secret to avoid causing chaos in the family. He's determined to find out the truth, and Michael will also consider approaching Dex to learn more about his goals. Will Michael find out the truth, and is Dex truly really Sonny's son, and how will things turn out?